The movie opens with a scene from the Ice Age. It's freezing outside, and a caveman is seen attempting to make fire for his lover, who is shivering from the cold. Suddenly, an earthquake strikes and causes the cave to collapse, burying the two of them. The movie then fast forwards to the present, where an average teenager named Dave Morgan is woken up by an earthquake in Los Angeles. He is a boring high school kid, whose only aim in life is to be popular and impress his crush, Robin Sweeney. To achieve that, Dave is building a pool in his backyard with the help of his equally unpopular best friend, Stoney. One day, while digging his dream pool, Dave comes across a bowl from the prehistoric era. Intrigued, he starts digging on that exact spot and soon discovers a chunk of ice buried underground. Surprisingly, it contains a well-preserved body of a prehistoric man. The finding takes Dave over the moon as he believes that he will finally become popular now. He immediately calls his friend Stoney and the two of them pull the ice block out of the ground. Shortly after, they leave it in the garage around some space heaters so that the ice can melt. Later that day at school, Dave invites his crush Robin to check out something special that he has found, but sadly, she turns him down. He is completely oblivious that Robin is already dating someone, an arrogant jock named Matt. Hence, when Matt sees the nerd hitting on his girlfriend, he carries Dave and pins him on the notice board, making him a laughingstock. Meanwhile, back in Dave's garage, the heaters melt the ice, and surprisingly, the prehistoric caveman is found to be alive. As he falls on the ground, he is puzzled by his new environment, which which looks like nothing short of an alien planet to him. Hence, he starts wandering around the property to make sense of everything. At first, he comes across Dave's dog and plays with him for a while. But suddenly, a helicopter passes by, scaring him away from the place. He then ventures around the neighborhood, where he notices a modern human and takes up a defensive position. Once the man runs away, the caveman tries drinking water from a nearby drain, but immediately spits it out because of its bad taste. After a while, the garbage truck arrives, and the caveman takes it for a mammoth and tries scaring it away. Way. He even throws a shovel at it while screaming like a maniac. Fed up with the new world, the caveman enters Dave's residence and starts dancing to some rock songs that are being played on TV. Later, when Dave returns home with Stoney, they find hand paint covering the walls and the house in disarray with the caveman missing from sight. Suddenly, the fire alarm goes off and they discover the caveman in Dave's bedroom trying to light a fire with sticks. The two friends hurriedly enter the room and try to introduce themselves, but they end up freaking him out. Just then, the phone also rings and the caveman starts jumping on the bed like a madman. He also lunges towards Dave to attack him, but Stoney comes to the rescue with a lighter. Surprisingly, the man-made fire impresses the caveman, and he finally calms down. Following this, the boys decide to integrate the caveman into their society. At first, they give him a bath. They empty several bottles of body wash and conditioner to scrub the man clean. They also trim his hair and dress him like an average teenager. Then, after a lot of deliberation, Dave decides to name him Link because he feels the caveman is the missing link between him and high school popularity. After the makeover, as the boys are trying to introduce themselves, they hear Dave's family's car pulling up in the driveway. Panicked, Dave instructs Stoney to take Link out and ring the doorbell, pretending as if they have just arrived. He then heads to the kitchen and takes the fall for trashing the whole place. He tells his parents that he wanted to surprise them by cooking dinner. Meanwhile, Link and Stoney show up at the door. The parents are perplexed to see the new kid acting strangely, but just as they are about to interrogate him, Dave cuts them off. He frantically lies that Link is an exchange student from Estonia who doesn't speak a word of English. He further mentions that his school is giving out extra credit points to the students who are housing foreign exchange students. At first, the parents are skeptical about letting Link into their home, but when Dave emotionally blackmails that it's for his career, they reluctantly agree. The next day, an excited Dave takes Link to his high school and enrolls him in class. While Stony is a genuine guy who just wants to be friends with the caveman, Dave wants to teach him stupid pet tricks to entertain others. His only goal is to use the new guy to gain popularity popularity. If Dave wants to impress everyone with a trick, he should just show them the one where he takes the ring to Mordor. Shortly after, in the school hall, Link notices Robin and her friend, Cindy. Enamored by their beauty, he makes his way towards them, jumping from the first floor using his supreme athletic skills. He is amazed by Cindy's physique and proceeds to touch her, but Dave quickly intervenes and escorts him away. However, the girls are already intrigued by Link's bizarre behavior. In the next scene, while Dave is busy with his classes, Stoney takes Link to his Spanish class. There, Cindy continuously hits on Link and even asks him out. Girls really do be into Neanderthals, though. After the class is over, Stoney takes the caveman to his favorite store to treat him to his favorite burrito. There, he also introduces different types of chocolates and teaches Link how to wheeze the juice. Following this, the two go to an amusement park and ride on a roller coaster. By the time Link returns home, he has learned to speak a bit like Stoney. During dinner, the caveman continues to act strange, like he eats a fly and also chows on some dog food. But 
luckily, Dave's family is already used to this. Later that night, Dave and Stoney take Link to an ice hockey game where all the popular kids, including Robin and Cindy, are present. Dave gets excited to see his crush and proceeds towards her but accidentally steps on a skateboard and ends up falling on top of her. After shrugging off the embarrassing moment, he shows her a picture from their childhood when they took a bath together. Unfortunately, this further enrages Robin, prompting her to immediately seize the picture. Meanwhile, Link continues to act strange and he draws naked pictures of women on the ice skating stand. Cindy wonders if the girl in the picture is Link's girlfriend from Estonia. She then attempts to seduce him by mentioning that long-distance relationships never work, but Link doesn't understand a word she is saying. On the other hand, the bully Matt notices Dave trying to get close to his girlfriend and immediately punishes him by dragging him into the skating rink in front of everyone. Link witnesses all this and goes to confront the bully, but instead gets a solid punch to his face. He is rattled for a while, but contrary to everyone's expectation, Link walks away from the fight. Dave is puzzled, and Stoney explains that cavemen fight for food and survival, not popularity. Popularity is survival in high school, though. Link should have whooped that guy. Hearing this, Dave vows to teach Link some self-defense moves so that he can protect himself against bullies like Matt. And at home, he shows him various tapes of wrestling and martial arts. Link quickly picks up the fighting skills, much to the disapproval of Stoney. One day, Dave's school takes his class on a trip to a natural history museum. Link finds the giant prehistoric models familiar, but soon, he realizes that cave people he knew are all dead. He becomes upset and starts randomly yelling, but before he can cause any mayhem, Stoney and Dave calm him down. They also let him know that they are always there for him as a family. As the three bond, a suspicious Matt watches them from a distance. The next day at school, Link is paired with Robin in her driver's ed class. Seeing Link getting in the driving seat from a distance, Stoney and Dave panic and they rush to stop him. They somehow manage to get in the car, but Link starts driving at a high speed. He also performs dangerous stunts that he saw on TV, much to people's amusement and horror. After a bit of chaos inside the school perimeter, Link ventures out onto the main road and jumps multiple red lights. Then he notices a club and immediately pulls over, indicating that he wants to have some fun. Reluctantly, the group also follows Link to the club and finds him performing some slick moves. Robin is amazed and she asks Dave to accompany her on the dance floor, but he turns her down, citing his poor dancing skills. As a result, she proceeds to dance with Link, who slowly starts becoming the center of attention. Meanwhile, Stoney and Dave befriend a group of Spanish-speaking men who let them try alcohol. Elsewhere, Matt and his bully friends have snuck inside school at night to find more information about Link. They check his medical records and notice that Link has a disease history of an animal. Matt is left further puzzled by the revelation, but he vows to his friends to get to the root of it. Back in the club, Dave watches with jealousy as Link dances his heart out with Robin. Just then, the police show up, sending everyone at the club into a frenzy, realizing that they are there to arrest them. Dave instructs Stoney to take Robin home while he convinces Link to leave. However, before he can do so, the police arrest the two of them. In the meantime, Stoney and his Spanish-speaking friends drop Robin home, and she thanks them for the amazing time. Soon, Matt shows up and tries to make up with her. It turns out that Robin is angry at Matt for punching Link the other day. She asks him to go away, but Matt doesn't listen. Instead, he asks her out to prom, saying it's a matter of reputation for him. Unfortunately for him, the statement further enrages Robin, and she calls him out for always caring about what other people think. Then, before shutting the door, she reveals that she wants to go with someone cooler, someone who's not afraid of being themselves. At the police station, Dave gets to make one phone call, and without thinking twice, he calls Robin. He informs her that he's in prison along with Link, and has only one call to explain himself. Then, without further ado, he asks her to be his prom date. But Robin swiftly turns him down too. Instead, she wants to go with Link, as he is very down to earth and innocent. He's also hot and doesn't speak English. <laughs> this naturally frustrates Dave, so Robin changes her offer. She suggests that they should all go to prom together, but an upset Dave hangs up the call. A while later, the two teenagers are eventually released from prison, and they return home. The next morning, Dave wakes Link up and covertly drives him away from the city. Luckily, Stoney notices them and starts following the car. After covering some distance, Dave stops the car and tells Link to go into the forest for good. It turns out Dave is jealous that Link is stealing Robin away from him. He hands him some coins for his favorite game and sends him away. However, before Link can go out of sight, Stoney arrives at the scene. Dave asserts that he can't handle the caveman anymore because ever since the day he arrived, he has only caused pain and trouble. He also suggests that Link is better off with somebody else. Shocked, Stoney berates Dave and orders him to call Link back, but the latter refuses. One thing leads to another and the two get into a fight on the streets. Link sees his best friends fighting and rushes to stop them. He then grabs the two and reminds them that they are a family. Hearing this, 
Thanks. Dave finally realizes his mistake and apologizes to both Link and Stony for acting selfish. After he is forgiven, the three reconcile and hug it out. Later that night, Dave helps Link get dressed for the prom, but he decides not to go himself. Soon, Robin arrives and tries to convince Dave to come along, but he refuses, claiming that he has been grounded. After Link and Robin leave, Stony stays back with Dave and the two have drinks near the pool and vow to become popular in college. But as they are conversing, a jealous Matt breaks into Dave's room to find evidence on Link. Unfortunately, he stumbles upon some Polaroid pictures, which reveal that Link is actually a caveman. Dave and Stony catch wind of the intrusion and rush to the scene, but it's too late, as Matt has already gotten inside of his car. He taunts the duo with the photographs and reveals that he is going to expose Link at the prom. After he drives away, the worried friends also follow him. Meanwhile, at the prom, Robin and Link have become the main attraction, but as soon as they are about to be crowned prom queen and king, Matt arrives and tells everyone that Link is actually a caveman. However, his plan backfires as the information makes Link even more popular. Dave also arrives and tries to take the pictures back from Matt, but gets punched in the face instead. Fed up with the bullying, Link becomes enraged and punishes Matt with all the moves he has learned. The crowd also cheers on as Matt gets tossed around the place like a rag doll. Following this, Dave and Robin make up and the three boys lead the entire prom in an impromptu caveman dance. They dance until late at night and then head to Dave's house for a pool party. Dave also gets his wish by finally getting to kiss his crush, Robin. In the meantime, Stoney and Link find some muddy prints in the house and become shocked. They silently follow the prints to the bathroom and discover a beautiful cavewoman in the bathtub. She turns out to be Link's partner from the beginning of the film. The movie ends as Dave and Stoney give the cavewoman a makeover, hence making her a new part of the family. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.